And then if I go to my bank feeds and I wait till it clears the bank, I might refresh it and maybe that'll help it to kind of see it. So if I refresh it, maybe then it might pick up, maybe it'll pick it up automatically. So then I'm going to go down, let it think. Yeah, it does. So, so there it is. It picked it up just by the dollar amount. So then it said, Hey, I found a match. That's what it's saying. I can, I speak QuickBooks. So I'm interpreting it for you. It says it's just like that. It's like, Hey dude, I found a match. So we have the match here. So now this isn't going to do anything when I record it because I already recorded in essence, a deposit. So this is just saying, this is just matching, which helps me out with my bank reconciliation which is a full service accounting system. We're not using QuickBooks in this case to, to make the financial statements. We're just using QuickBooks to double check, to verify the transactions in the checking account, which helps us out with just a normal bank reconciliation. So I'm going to say match on that. And there it is. No, no uh, difference happened over here to the, to the, to the uh, actual transactions in my bank statement. It just verifies. So now we've, we've tied it. We've tied a deposit to the invoice. We've tied a deposit to the received payment, whether we put it into undeposited funds where it records a new transaction, taking it out of undeposited funds or the clearing account payment to be deposited, puts it into the checking account. We've tied it to the received payment that acts like a deposit where the bank feed doesn't do anything except match, help us out with the reconciliation. And then next time, maybe we'll do one more and record the actual full service where we record the actual deposit and then we tie the bank feeds uh, into that. And this would be something that you would have to do if you deal with like credit cards that are gonna make deposits com comprising of multiple received payments or multiple sales receipts, or you have cash that you're gonna deposit, which comprises of multiple sales receipts or multiple received payment forms. We'll dive into that more next time.